Hello and welcome to Learn with Akriti. In the last lesson, we studied about plants, the structure of a seed, and how a seed germinate. So, this in this lesson, we'll take it ahead. So, we know that seeds are of different shapes and different sizes, like orange seed, sunflower seed, maple seed. These are small in size, whereas if you see the seed of a mango, it is bigger in size. So seeds can give a variety of shapes. Also, I told you in my last lesson that for a seed to germinate, the necessary or the ideal conditions must be there. For example, there should be a proper sunlight, water and air for the seed to germinate. Now, what will happen if any of the seed will not get these ideal conditions? The seed is not going to grow. The seed will not germinate. So, in order to make sure that every seed sown must germinate into a beautiful plant, there are some things, some methods that need to be taken care of. So, that method by which every seed will get the proper nourishment, that method is called seed dispersal. And today's topic is seed dispersal. So this is how you can define seed dispersal. It is the process of scattering away or moving away of the seed from the parent plant. It is a movement of the seed to a far off places from the parent plant and this process is called seed dispersal. Now, seed dispersal on its own is difficult. So, there must be something that makes it possible, that makes seed dispersed to a far of places. So, take an example. Like if we or you want to move somewhere else from the far of places, then you need some means of transportation, be it land transport, air transport, water transport. Same is the case with a seed. A seed also needs such kinds of means of transport to move from one place to other place in order to germinate better in better conditions. So those methods or those means of transportation in this conditions are called agents. Those are agents of dispersal. Now there are few agents that will help the seed to move or scatter from one place to the other place. These agents being first is wind or air. Yes, air or the wind plays a major role in dispersing the seed to a far off places. Second means or the agent of dispersal is by water. There are many plants in which the seeds are dispersed by the means of water. Third agent of dispersal is by birds or by animals. Yes, there are many animals, there are many birds that take the seed to a far of places. These are the agents of dispersal. Now, these are all the biotic means or the agents of dispersal. Now, apart from this, there are some cases in which the seed itself get exploded and the seeds come out of the plant and get dispersed to a far of places. That process or that method is called self-explosion. Yes, explosion in the plant. Now, in many cases, when a plant does not get the proper sunlight, the leaves get dry and that drier thing will explode on its own after some time and the seeds are thrown away and by this self-explosion method, dispersal is possible. 
So now we are going to discuss one by one few examples of the plants or the seeds that are taken away by these agents. Now the first agent of dispersal is wind. So now for the wind to disperse the seed, what are the necessary adaptations by the plant? Obviously, first being that the seed should be very light in weight. It should be light in weight. Or the seed should be in the form of powder. It should be powdery. Only then the seed can be blown away by the wind or by the air. Examples of such kind of plants are orchids or grass. The seeds of orchids are very very small and very light in weight. Kind of a powdery thing. That's why they can be easily dispersed or taken away by the wind. So the seeds needs to be light in weight. Next form or the next adaptation by which seed can be dispersed by the wind is a wing like structure or the winged seeds. There are certain seeds, for example, seeds of maple that have the seed, consider this as a seed, this has wing like structure. So with the help of these wings, when the wind blows, these wings help the seed to get scattered or dispersed. So there are seeds which have wing like structure. For example, maple, moringa and there are many more. Now the next thing is, there are some seeds which are in the shape of a parachute. Or those have hair like structure. For example, dandelion. If you ever have seen dandelion, the seed is something like this. It has very lightweight hair around the seed. When the wind blows, the seed can be easily carried away and the disposal happens. The same is the case with cotton. So, very, it should be very light in weight. It should have wing seeds and some will have hair like structure. So, these are the adaptation by which dispersal by the wind is possible. Now, the next agent of dispersal is by water. You must have observed that in most of the islands, you will see coconut plants. Now, have you ever thought how and who grows those plants over there to so far of distant places? Actually, the seeds get carried away by the water to those places. And the example of this dispersal are coconut. As the seeds of the coconut are fibrous and light in weight, so they can float on water. This is the adaptation which is required for the seed of the coconut so that it can flow easily. Only then it will be dispersed away. Examples of the seeds or the plants which can be dispersed by water are coconut. Same is the case with water lily and lotus. So these seeds are disposed by water. The next agent of dispersal are animals or birds. For example, in some seeds have hooks in them of this kind. And for example of these kind of seeds are xanthium. Now when animals come in contact with such plants having such seeds like xanthium, when the these seeds or with the help of these hooks stick to the body of the plants and when the plants having these kind of seeds on its body move to the other place then the seeds are dispersed to the other places and there they germinate. 
So the first are the conditions are hooks on the seeds. These kind of structure on the seeds. The next thing is the seeds needs to be edible. See if the seeds will not be edible, it will not be tasty. Then animals are not going to eat them or they are not tempted to eat them. So the seeds should be edible. For example, seeds of papaya, orange, lychee. Now these seeds are edible and tasty for the plants. But when the plants or the birds consume these fruits, but the seeds are very hard to digest for them. And when the birds move from one place to the other, the seeds are passed out through the excretion. And then when they are passed out and thrown away, now that thing, that becomes very soft. The house covering becomes soft and then it's easy for the seeds to germinate. So this is, this way, these edible seeds are eaten up and dispersed by the birds. Now, third adaptation for this is that seeds should be sticky. If the seeds will be sticky, they will easily stick to the surface of the animals or the birds. They can be easily taken away by them. So these are the adaptations for animals, for the seeds to disperse by animals. Now, these were the few things by which seed dispersal is possible. Now, there is one more case in which none of the, these agents like water, air or animals or birds will help the seed to disperse. But when there is a lack of sunlight, then on their own, some plants or the fruits will get explored and the seeds will come out of it. That process or method of dispersal is called dispersal by self-explosion. In this, seeds will explode. Take it as a seed. But when it becomes dry through the lack of sunlight, the seeds out of it will pop out, come out and get dispersed to different directions and different places. So this is how the dispersal of seed is possible by self-explosion. So these were the few agents and the conditions or the adaptations that we have discussed in today's lesson. So seed dispersion and the agents and with the exam. My dear kids, here is a small assignment for you uh, of the lesson that we have discussed today. Question number one, define seed dispersal. You're supposed to write the meaning of seed dispersal. Question number two. Why do seeds of different types need different agents of dispersal? Explain with examples. Just now we have discussed different adaptations and agents of dispersal in different seeds. You are supposed to give all the methods and agents along with the examples. Last question is. How can the seeds of a fruit be dispersed by animals? This is also discussed in the lesson today. Dispersal by animals. We are supposed to write the way along with the examples. So this is a very short home assignment given to you today. And uh, apart from this, I hope you must have done the last assignment given to you. And for the other details, you can check the description box now. And we will discuss some more topics of the same lesson. Bye for now.